Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Anotak and we are playing Europa Universalis 4 with the newest DLC, Rule Britannia. Welcome back to our very hard Dutch campaign. We are gonna go and fight another colonial war over here. We have a war goal against Cheyenne now. What to woe me? Because I, I wanna like have colonial Louisiana and maybe stop Spain from spreading too far. That's kind of what I would enjoy the most here. Um New Spain is at war with Kilwa, the Mamluks, and Ajran. So, why? Is Spain allied with the Ottomans? No. Allied with Cologne and Portugal? Mamluks. Allied with Malwa. Hey, Persia exists. I might be able to suck up to Persia, but on the other hand, what would that be? do for me like why would I even all was over here controlling a ton of India Bengal is controlling the other half which is interesting that makes it pretty difficult for anyone getting into into those lands we could try to actually take over with Genegado. like if we can get Cylon that might be pretty useful here can I do that like they have no allies would I be able to ferry my troops that far? Would I even be able to call that or would I have to vassalize them? It should be, it should actually be possible to vassalize them. Oh man, that is incredibly tempting getting a foothold over there. Nah, man, they have, they have huge amounts of, huge amounts of stuff, supply reach. Calling range. Kilba will probably not give me fleet basing rights. Will France give me fleet basing rights? Nah. Hell no. Would be kind of nice if I had at least one colonizer friend. Spain will not give me fleet basing rights. They hate me. Hmm. We might have to wait with that a little bit. There's Terra Incognita, but it very much looks like um, Spain got there first. We'll probably have to work our way down Africa before we are able to do other stuff. So, yeah. Kind of nasty that these guys control everything. Um, getting South Georgia might be a thing. That could actually be something that helps us. Is that part of any colonial... Uh, region? No, it isn't. It's just the Southern Sandwich Islands. The thing is, this is glacial, so not all that helpful, but oh well. See how that goes. Um, we're going to have that disaster, which means I have to take away a province from the burgers again. Clergy has expired, so the influence has gone down. Are they still mad? No, they're actually okay with me now. Good. Could demand admin support. I'm not going to make a donation. I'm already not looking good in terms of money. I mean, hell of an income. Actually, why is our income halved now? Army maintenance? Is that the problem? Are we over? No, we're at 70 or 75, so... I could definitely use some more cannons here. Probably have maybe a little bit too too much infantry. Plutocratic coup in February 1622. So... I mean... The thing is, they will probably rise up if I take, if I take the land away. And they're going to be then mad that they're not controlling enough land. So it's all kind of shitty. Controlling Utrecht. It will... Really? You think you should take up arms against me? That's kind of stupid. You're gonna get crushed, obviously. I 
Okay, so that happened. Um, these guys are still fine. Like, 2.6% is okay. I think we'll actually have these guys um, train again. Okay, our guy is now an architectural visionary. Less construction cost. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is actually a very tempting construction cost reduction. It's pretty amazing. Hmm. Okay, these three provinces are not as important. It's only 150 now for these buildings, which is amazing, I'd say. Okay. So now we should see the formation of another colonial nation. Okay, we're we'll gonna call this New Friesland. Okay, with Melodia as its capital, which is actually pretty good because they have those gems. I like it. Um, yeah, good. Good, very good. New Wallonia is fine. I'm kind of thinking we should attack these guys and like get get them be dealt with. Uh, we still have a truce with these guys until 23, so just two more years. Chichapoya is still allied with Cusco. I'm really thinking we should just hammer on these guys, but let them let them just have that time. Like no one can reach them because they they're inland, um, and I don't think no one I don't think anyone will really. They don't have a truce with my vassal. They don't have a truce with New Flanders. That is incredibly interesting. Can we actually egg these guys into a war? Um, so that's New Flanders. Start one colony. We'll declare conquest war on Chimu. Yes, do it. Yeah, they just did. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They should be able to deal with those troops, like, not the most amazing guys. They're also not mega strong, but they <clears throat> have a lot of money. So let them do whatever. Oh, they're still busy coring, though. Oh, yeah, I would, I would like them to have Chimu and be actually connected. Now, oh, come on. France declared war on Pawnee. Oh, it's these guys. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Hey, Dutch Upper Canada. But it's not a colonial nation yet, so... Oh, well. Big whoop. We're almost done making this reformed. Okay. Very good. Um, let's make Toronto into reformed. It's just 16 months, so... Actually, I could also... We haven't changed our fervor in a while. I mean, this gives us Diplo Rep, which is super useful. Maybe we'll also go trade. I could use some money. War is not really necessary at this point. Um, almost there. Being able to call the other two provinces. Um, we can declare war on Cheyenne now. Uh, and I think I just will. There's nothing really that speaks against it. Austria have cancelled the military access. That is okay. Santa Catarina is almost done. Down here. So those, that coastal province. Um, actually, which... Okay, yeah. That still belongs to Brazil. Fine. Fine. I get it. That's okay. With the development of veneering, which makes the cost for tropical wood go up. That's awfully nice. Some of our um, guys actually have tropical wood. Muscotin has come, has come under our occupation. Things are happening here. 
Let's bring these guys over. Finish sieging them down. This is going to be a really quick war. Oh yeah, and there's New Holland. We're ready to hunt these guys down. I really want to get Ottawa over here as well. Niagara is now part of our patrimony and Santa Catarina is self-sustaining. Excellent. Um, does that give me another... No, it doesn't give me another colonist. Sure. I mean, why would it? It's fine. So they're taking this, which means my only other op option is going over here to get some more lands for our guys. How is the... Louisiana, Louisiana. Okay, so... This is happening in some form or fashion. The interesting thing is that the Hudson Bay can really only go into the Gulf of St. Lawrence, where these guys still don't have any power. <laughs> um, so I guess that's fine. Almost done taking this one. Could you maybe not attrition me to death? I would very much appreciate that New Holland. Okay, so we took these guys and we'll like... Oh, really? Well, I even have 25 bucks. Okay, let's get out of there. I don't want to be attritioned. That just annoys me. Where are there troops? Oh, man, really? Could you, like, could you have maybe protected your own lands, you idiot? Oldenburg is giving money to these guys, sure. Okay, okay. I guess I'm gonna clean up your mess. I would think that these guys are able to protect their own country, but apparently not. Uh, we're done with the new Valonia. Pull that guy up. Um, Shawnee. One half of Shawnee is still in Louisiana, right? So that kind of means I have to colonize down here. I guess. I don't have a free colonist at the moment. Rio Grande de Sul is getting there. Ontario is getting there. <clears throat> Do I really need that settler? Well, I'd rather make 50 bucks a month. Reformed refugees. Gain one base tax in East Friesland. Um, Cologne doesn't like us. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> I take that base tax at the cost of Cologne. That is just fine by me. Okay, let's let's call that one. <coughs> okay, pony. Okay, yeah. So they've they've basically taken that land as well. Not sure I'm all too happy about that. Um, we'll recall that guy. And we'll actually send someone to Ottawa over here. I think that is still, that is still like Canada. This is going to be the, probably the weakest of my colonial nations. I could annoy these guys a little bit by getting this one, Muscogon. No colonists to send, but this will give me like a tad of trade power. Can we connect it somehow? Nah. France kind of took that from us by going for these guys. I, I should have taken Pawnee. Damn it. Well, I mean, they're concentrating all their, all their efforts in that one area. So I guess it's fair that they are reaping the benefits of that. I've been all over the place. <clears throat> Man, my voice is really not happy about me talking today. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Hmm. Could build universities in a bunch of places, reduce the development costs. But really, I, I mainly want to put down the trade depots while it's cheap. So 230, 210. These three are not a thing, but I mean, so 174, sure, we'll do that. 
Friesland is done. Will we see our trade income go up? Nope. We won't. Oh yeah, actually have these cannons merge into the big Netherlandian army. I think we'll just keep these in one huge stack. Like, there's no real downside to having that. Peace offer from Cheyenne. Nope. Like, you can just give up and get annexed. That's that's all you really can do here. Give up, get annexed, and get out of here then. Yeah, one more base tax in Flanders. Sure. Okay, that should do it. That's the whole army, I think. Just kind of removes them. Sending that colonist. Uh, maybe I should commit a colonist over here. Holy hell. Stability increase. Yeah, I take the 50 admin power. Why not? Why not? Hey, and these guys already have 3k troops. I like that. Very good. Katwuba is now under occupation. These guys are 100% occupied now, which means yeah, I'll just I'll just take them. So, um, let's call this place. <laughs> Encroachment of the nobility. Okay, we have we could have the nobility rise up. I really don't want to give like Flanders away though. Return the land. Okay, we have three hundred fourteen. We still have that leader that uh, who reduces the construction costs. So let's try to get our construction done while this guy is in office. It's gonna not last too long, so let's make the most of it. University is also incredibly expensive. But yeah, let's get the trade depots built like um, in all the places. Like this is this is our main source of income, so we might as well. Hmm. We still have too much infantry, too few cannons. Two cannons. Uh, one cannon on two infantry is not the greatest ratio. But I guess that's all we're going to do here. Um, how are we looking in terms of troops? 72, 75. So I guess we're just going to add a couple more cannons then. It's all right. We're going to have like a 50 army at home and a 25 army overseas. These guys we're going to merge into the Dutch war fleet. These guys are fine. We'll just we'll just bring them up here. I mean, what I could try to do is I could just give these provinces deliberately to Dutch Canada to make them stronger. Just give them that whole lake area and actually take the southern regions then. Hey, New Holland gave us a gift because they're kind hearted. I take it. And with assimilation in Rio Grande de Sol. So that's good. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we're free there. Um, kind of do want to improve with New Friesland. Make these guys happy. Oh, these guys have rebels. Yay, they managed to take over Chimu though. That makes me extremely happy. 164, 164. They're not strong enough to take these guys on. Which is a damn shame. Really would like to integrate them though. Like they're gonna go to the colonial nation in any case. Mm, they force vassalized us. It's gonna be difficult to overcome. Like if we get 30 though, we're at 190, which is enough. So let's let's move that forward. And then up here. I think taking Shawnee is probably a good idea. Mm, 
Nah, I won't be able to really get them. Could vassalize them if I wanted to. Well, that's all I can do. Shawnee and Osage. Caddo is allied with Shawnee and Wichita. Shawnee, Wichita. Oh, I'll just try to get that province and then declare war on Illinois. That could work. Yeah, I'm actually liking the idea of strengthening Colonial Canada a little bit by going here. And that would still allow them to go around and maybe grab some of that northern area. Strengthening New Holland uh, any further would be pretty bad. So I will try to stop that. They, they're going to colonize on their own, making them pretty dangerous um, at some point because they're going to be huge. Yeah, got a successful conversion. Um, Muscoutin, Niagara. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll convert Niagara for now. Because this will go to a colonial nation pretty soon. And then kind of done. Concepcion is producing wool. Meh. Could be a better trade good than wool, but oh well. That's also going to go to this colonial nation. So New Friesland is going to have that. Pay a bank loan. I guess we've got to extend the other loans. How is our loan situation now? 3,900. Why does our loan go up? Why did that go up? That's pretty crazy, no? I'm kind of up to 218 bank loans and I have 14. Holy cow, I could take up a lot of money. No colonial border conflict. <clears throat> Sigh. Where to begin? It seems that settlers from New Flanders have ventured into Santa Catarina, province of New Friesland in search of new land and resources. New Friesland then sent their militia to drive them out, but they got overzealous and pursued the settlers back into Chicas, raiding and burning. The conflict then escalated when New Flanders sent their militia to drive out the New Friesland militia and carry out raids of their own in into Santa Catalina. The director of New Friesland, Adrian von Hamskirk, is blaming the director of New Flanders, Jules von Huchtebroek, and vice versa. How do we solve this without losing face? Sold out the differences. Can we afford to lose 10 prestige? I, I'd rather not. New Flanders gains 10 liberty desire. New Friesland gains 10 liberty desire. I think I can live with New Friesland gaining some liberty desire. Like, these guys must be pretty... Yeah, they're pretty weak, so I think we'll do that. Uh, New Flanders is actually pretty powerful, so we'll do this. Okay, that, that will tick down though, so it's fine. Tria have some discontent among our population. Come on. That makes me mad. With one additional diplomat that we could use for something. Um, treasury. Kind of want to build more stuff. We don't have the next level of the cathedral. The next level of the church. We still could build workshops in some places, but it isn't a huge gain. Training fields could be built down here for 188 manpower. Can't do anything up there. Um, regimental camps could be built to increase our force limits slightly. Well, yeah, trade depot. I think, yeah, I still feel that the trade depot has to go down everywhere so that we can get the maximum out of our home trade node. How in terms of fleet power? 165 of 188. Local militias. Manpower recovery speed. Lose 10,000 manpower again? Come on. Okay, we'll do this. I don't want to lose the army professionalism. We've worked hard to get that one up, and I don't want it to go down again. So how's this looking? I'm coring this one. Tariffs on cotton. Yeah, tax it in the Dutch Caribbean. That should also give us some more money. New Holland is at 42% liberty desire at this point. Diplomatic reputation is keeping it down a little bit. 
And the treasure fleet arrived. Brought us 150 ducats. I like it. Yeah, New Holland is going to become a problem at some point. Knowledge sharing, pay off debt. Can I influence this nation? Can't afford 12 months of their income, which is 269.73. That will help our trust with them. Yeah, we'll do that. Like, because the trust is actually a pretty um, powerful thing. Ooh. In 1621, at the end of the 12 year peace treaty with Spain, the Gertrude West India Company was founded, with mainly focused on privateering against the Spanish fleets. Apart from privateering, the objective was to establish as many colonies as possible in the Americas and conquer land. Famous exploits include Manhattan and Piet Hein raiding the Spanish silver fleet. We gain Jamaican trade note, trade power 25 in Caribbean until the second generation. Really? Santa Domingo. So how will that change things? Will we be able to pull more out? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Not a huge amount. We might actually be well advised to send a trade fleet down here. Have them trade. I'll think about it. I'll consider it. Um, these guys are still Huron. We'll, we'll call this place. Get that done. Ottawa is almost there. And yeah, we'll, we'll probably just like move up here. Try to cut France off. Still thinking that might be a fun idea. Hey, and we can build another thing. Oh, we could build it only in, in Widder. What? Over here? Do we have a lot of trade power there? Stop that. Um, yeah, I want to keep the money. I think we'll keep the money for maybe some ships. How much are we pulling out of this trade node over here? We, we have 98 in there. And we collect 73. I don't think we're gonna ever going to be able to push Great Britain below a certain threshold. We can try, though. Um, so let's actually increase the Dutch trading fleet by a couple of ships. Still not at our max in terms of naval capacity, so... I mean, why not push more? And England is definitely helping us, or Great Britain, by pulling everything into here. Oh, man. Actually... Denmark is also pulling a lot. It's interesting. I wonder if we wouldn't be better off just privateering over in Lübeck with a ton of our ships. We'll try that. I think I gotta try different configurations. Trading fleet. How many more can we take? Actually, quite a few. Yeah, we'll try to go up to naval cap here. Christian Hagens. We gain one innovativeness. We we'll gain a reformed treasurer and 100 admin power. Huygens was a Dutch mathematician, astronomer, and physicist who founded the wave theory of light, discovered the true shape of the rings of Saturn, and made original contributions to the science of dynamics, the study of the action of forces on bodies. Forgotten until the early 19th century, his theories on light appear today as one of the most brilliant and original contributions to modern science, and will always be remembered by the principle bearing his name. Yay! Okay, I take it. Definitely take it. Um, still have overextension. Because I have a couple of these provinces. They will go away, though. So that's good. Um, do we want to take that treasurer? I mean... Question is, he needs only 18, so... And he's really cheap. We'll do that. I mean, tax is not our most important thing, but we'll take it. I think we're a little bit over force limit at this point. Yeah, we're at 76 or 75. So yeah, we're 17 cannons. Kind of would like to go up to 18 cannons and 6 cavalry, but we'll see how we can do that. The Huron people can lose 10 prestige and gain an advisor. Or we can gain an influential power holder. Yeah. 
Oh well. Ah, we have Separatists in Niagara. So let's try to get rid of these guys. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of actually making all this into Colonial Canada, making these guys a little bit stronger. And then just going for Louisiana by colonizing down into that area. Doesn't seem like Spanish Louisiana is all that aggressive down there. Where does Spanish Louisiana stop? New Spain. Oh, okay, so that river is actually their demarcation. Interesting. Well, for now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.